What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are talking about the new update that has just arrived to Red Dead Online. Last week it was a massive update and they keep on adding to it because this week it still looks like we are getting some decent stuff added to this game. As always if you want to read along I'll leave a link in the description down below. But anyway to begin with we are getting new free room missions and that is the main thing to do with this week. It says last week we added the first of many new free roam missions with new mission types and some new characters to meet along the way. This week, two fan favourites from Red Dead Redemption 2 story join the cast of characters in the market for helping hand in the world of Red Dead Online. Ride out to Adler Ranch in Amberino or search out the infamous gunslinger Black Bell in Lemoyne for new free roam missions to play in Red Dead Online for both PlayStation and Xbox One. Now, Sadie Adler is back in this game. Sadie Adler was the, probably the most favourite character from Red Dead Online. For me, anyway, people wanted some DLC to do with Sadie Adler. Arthur was amazing, and then it was Sadie Adler. Both of them were absolute gods. Now, Sadie Adler is in Red Dead Online. This is something that I I wanted for so long and I kept on asking Rockstar for Sadie Adler to be in Red Dead Online and people ended up actually hating on it just because online is set before the story and people said that there would be no way you would see Sadie Adler in online because she won't be the bounty hunter character that we ended up getting to know at the end of Red Dead Redemption 2 but this is before everything happened and it also means that you get to go and meet her husband for the first time which is pretty sick so I'm actually very excited to go and see Sadie Adler for the first time. Black Belt, I'm not too fussed about too much. Sadie Adler is definitely the one that I'm going to go to first. I'll probably definitely go and check out Black Belt, but the first one is definitely Sadie Adler. If you are a PlayStation 4 user, then this week is a big week for you to get early access content. So far, PlayStation 4 users, you've had a bit of early access content, but nothing too much. And previously, you've had a bone knife and also early access to open target races. Nothing too big, but this week you will be getting yourself an ancient tomahawk along with a make it count ancient tomahawk showdown mode, which actually sounds pretty sick. There is also a last chance free for all showdown mode, and finally, you will also have a chance of getting a new horse, which is the Perlino Andolgian horse. I'm probably butchering that name completely, but you also get that horse with new horse equipment, clothing, and emotes. And that is probably the first big time, first major time that you are getting some big content. And this is probably the first time that I wish I was on PlayStation 4 playing this game. I'm not, I'm on Xbox unfortunately, but that is the first time I've actually been sort of excited for those with PlayStation 4. And I kind of wish that I had PlayStation 4 just so I can go and try out those modes. The Ancient Tomahawk Showdown mode actually seems pretty good. I've managed to get a few Tomahawk kills in my lifetime of playing Red Dead on Online, but nothing too major and I think that would be an awesome place to go and just get a, get some cool kills you know in Red Dead Online. The next thing that there is is new clothing added to the catalogue as always it seems like we're getting weekly clothing now which is pretty decent but the next big thing is it says in addition to 25% of Red Dead Online money and gold increased payouts for a land of opportunity missions, free roam missions, showdown modes, races and free roam events playing in a posse this week at any point will earn you five bonus gold bars which is actually pretty sick now if you have not got a posse i highly recommend going to get that because five bonus gold bars it doesn't sound like too much now but eventually in the future when this game gets more and more content updates those gold bars are actually going to be able to use and i'm slowly starting to see it where i'm starting to use a few of my gold bars the main thing that i'm using my gold bars for is to switch between honorable and dishonorable just so i can unlock the missions quickly yes i can just be a good person or i can just be completely dishonorable and go and shoot a load of people and eventually my honor will go down but it's been so much easier just to go and spend free gold bars to go and swap between the two and then go and complete missions in red dead online that is something that you're definitely going to want to do just to go and just join up in a posse and go and get those five gold bars and it also says carrying on from last week with the 25 percent increase in red dead online money and gold that will carry on 
throughout this week as well, which is actually pretty awesome. The final thing that is said on this blog is that we continue to work behind the scenes to address overall game stability and performance with recent fixes, including closing some duplication exploits, resolving issues related to reduced numbers of animals in session, updating defensive mode to revert playing style to offensive and apply a hostility penalty when stealing cargo from another player's horse and more. So it's just nice to go and see that Rockstar is actually talking about the bugs that we see in Red Dead Online and they're addressing the situation and trying to go and fix it. I know that seems like a very simple thing to do for a games company but bear in mind all the way back to Christmas when we had like glitches where there was still head trout at the bottom of Tumbleweed which was just spawning in from out of nowhere and you can go in just keep on going to different lobbies go and pick that up there was a number of different bugs in Red Dead Online and they never were really addressed and they were never really fixed until this latest update so the fact that they're talking about the latest fixes to Red Dead Online for me it's just kind of good to see but this is actually a pretty decent week of Red Dead Online, some more free roam missions, I thought everything to do with missions, everything big would have been brought out last week, it seems like that's going to carry on going throughout each week with these new updates, which means we're going to get even more updates to do with free roam missions in the future, which is actually pretty sick going into the summer title update. So I'm excited to go and look at that, but I'm actually going to end this video here. I really want to go and see Sadie Adler and see what she has to say, see if there's any foreshadowing about what's going to happen. But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.